should be. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dreadbread. Welcome to Space Monkey and Mafia, or Pants, or the enemy. Well, it's been a long day today, uh, but I figured it's been a while since I streamed, so I will, you know, stream for a little bit, talk some shit with you guys, or ladies, and, uh, that's new. And just talk about some stuff I kind of discovered and was, yes, unacceptable. Very unacceptable that I did that. Uh, she's got new sprays. What new sprays does she have, I wonder? <laughs> I like that. Alright. Uh, yes, you can go there. So I've, I've been looking around for kind of alternative bits to use for my Warhammer 40k models. I'm particularly looking for different heads for my Space Marines because I've decided to go with a kind of Mesoamerican themed um, custom chapter. I thought that would be neat. I mean... There is one official chapter. Actually, there's two, but there's only really... There was one official... Well, three official chapters, actually, I should say. Um, the first one was the Rainbow Warriors, which started off as a joke in first edition of Rogue Traders. They disappeared into oblivion, because obviously they were meant to be a joke. Um, the other chapter was the Blood Jaguars, I believe. They're... I just gotta confirm this right real quick. Uh, yes, the Blood Jaguars. And their founding chapter, uh, they were a successful chapter of the Flesh Terrors. Which I don't think you can really do that anymore. I don't think a successor chapter can have a, another successor chapter founding. Um, but they are neat. I do like them. I, I like the way that they look. Um, their lore is very interesting. They use very unique weapons. Very kind of badass lore. I do like them. Uh, they disappeared, though, so you can't really be them anymore, I guess. And nobody really fields them. Which which is a bummer. And then the other one was it the Silver Tigers? I thought were one. Or they used to be. Tigers Argent. Maybe they're more of a... Space Wolf chapter, because their homeworld is Ice Fang. I really thought... Because they pop up in 5th edition. Okay, so I really thought that those guys were also... Uh, uh, a successor chapter of the Rainbow Warriors that kind of turned into their own thing. Could have been wrong. Probably am wrong. But anyway, so I, I was looking for alternative bits, alternative heads and stuff. And I'll just looking around. And one thing I'm also looking for is tr really nice terrain pieces. Because my, like I said, I'm going to do Mesoamerican. For those of you who don't know what Mesoamerican is, Mesoamerican is kind of the middle of of America, uh, not North America, more like between kind of the central part of kind of South America, I believe. Probably saying that wrong, but I know what I'm talking about. It's like Mexico all the way to a certain part. Uh, it's where the Maya, the Aztec, the Inca, and a couple of other different different civilizations popped up. It's a very heavy, jungly, heavy terrain, and I was going to do a 
I really want to do a battle board of just jungle terrain and pyramids and all sorts of cool things and I've been having a lot of difficulty finding finding stuff you know I, I found really really old threads and forms and how people made their own and they look really dated and I'm not that great when it comes to crafting my own stuff uh, but I came across a company called Lost Kingdoms or Lost Miniatures or Lost let's see here pretty sure it's Lost Kingdoms Yeah, it was Lost Kingdoms, um, and they that started off as a Kickstarter. They are resin miniatures that you could probably use, not in an official way, but I, if you wanted to, like for your own little homebrew games or whatnot, you could use them as proxies for Lizard Men or the Seraphon. And Warhammer Fantasy, they've got some really, really nice fucking cool shit that I really like. Um, they're, the models are very beautiful. Very well detailed. They even have Chaos Dwarves and things like that, but they've, they've just got some really fucking cool... Uh, Sorry, I'm just reading that. Alright, so they have some really cool fucking terrain pieces. Especially for the Lizardmen. Um, they've got different types of pyramids. They have pillars. They've got runes. They've got statues. They've got all sorts of stuff. It's like, oh man, this is really awesome. But the only problem is that they're made and manufactured in Spain. And I was reading some of the stuff to say, yes, the... the Miniatures seem reasonable at price at first, but where they get you is the shipping. So you may pay like 12 bucks for a model, but you're going to get hit, hit with like about 45 bucks in shipping, which sucks balls. Because I don't live in Spain and I don't want to pay a bunch of money for some stuff that might get completely and utterly destroyed in the mail, especially seeing how as my local mail likes to handle shit. Uh, it doesn't fit in the mailbox, shove it in there anyway. Uh, you got this important package, let's just throw it on the front porch upside down, even though it says fragile, and not tell anybody about it. So I was looking around for other stuff, and I started noticing that people were selling these Lost Kingdom miniatures on Esty. And for those of you who don't know, I will get to Overwatch in a minute, but we are talking hobby shit right now, so deal with it. So SDA is a website where people make pretty much handmade art, or they kind of find rare like hand-me-downs and collectibles and they sell them. Uh, but there is a problem, a big problem on SD, which is this weird pyramid scheme ish thing where somebody will buy something really cheap from a hobby store they will sell it somebody else will buy that added nothing to it or maybe throw a little bit of glitter on it and then sell it for a higher price and somebody else will buy that sell it for even more of a higher price so on and so forth and so forth and you just get this snowball effect of cheap item supposedly handmade really manufactured in China or somewhere like that and then it's selling for thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And then the original person who sold it, you know, is selling it for 99 cents. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, so I've been finding a lot of Warhammer miniatures on there. You know, proxy miniatures. What the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. Something fell. It scared me. Might have broken something. Oh, no, it was just the Overwatch case. It's all right. The game's in the, 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 the whatever. It's fine. Um, but I've been noticing, you know, people are saying they've handmade these items or they've, you know, they're, they're pro-painted and they're not pro-painted at all. Um, so 
I found this one lady's site, or her SD page, and I'm a little suspicious of it because it said it was made earlier, very early this year. And she's selling these Lost Kingdom miniatures. Some of them are at a decent price. Some of them are like 12 bucks. Some, some of them are at 45 The pricing doesn't really make sense. And I was looking at one of the models, which is this big lizard man holding this kind of conquistador-looking guy who's got his chest r- ripped open, and he's screaming in agony. This big lizard man with his fancy headdress is eating his heart, right? So that model was 12 bucks. But if you want the, the scenic base that it's supposed to come with and stand on, you have to pay an additional 15 bucks and another 14.95 for shipping. What? The way that these models are made is you put the models together and then they stand on the bit of the scenery base because their, their foot, there's a little like peg that's attached to the foot that goes into the scenery base that you glue onto this, you know, you glue them, that holds them together and then you glue that onto another base. And she's charging you 15 extra bucks. It could be a guy, I don't know. It's got a lady on the, on the, on the, on her profile, but she's charging a extra 15 bucks for a piece of the model the model actually comes with. And then she's got the audacity to hit you up with another $14.95 for shipping and handling. That doesn't make any sense. So, not to mention, some of her stuff's like, oh, here's a, here's a model for $45. Bucks. Don't worry, you get free shipping... No, you don't get the, you don't have to pay the fourteen ninety five, and it comes with its base, so it's, that shit just like nothing adds up for me there. I'm just like that doesn't make any sense. This is a you say this you say this pyramid is forty five bucks and it comes with a base, but it's a pyramid. It doesn't have a base. You know, it doesn't have a big circle plastic piece that you glue it on top of. It's just a pyramid that you can put together and then you throw on the board or whatever, or your table, and it's there for scenery. <laughs> so I'm just like, what, what, what the hell's going on? And then I was looking at some of the other people that have been selling Lost uh, Kingdom miniatures and stuff. And I've noticed when you go to the description of the item... Both hers and another guy's are a little bit the same. Um, except for the guy that I was checking out. His shit actually says that the products are made... They're resin made, and they're manufactured and made in Spain. And that if there's any defects in the models that you get, you know, you have to return it to the company and not to him. Because, you know, he's he's just selling it, so if you buy it from him and it's defective because of its resin or whatever, you'll have to send it back to actual Spain to get to get a new model. Because he's buying his strictly from Spain, and then he's just, you know, just selling it to the whoever wants it, trying to make a profit. This lady saying that her items are handmade, she makes them. She, she's got permission to make these. That She makes them, she cures them, she 3D prints them. Uh, some of the material will be gray, some of the material might be black. It just depends on the, pla- the, the plastic that she has to 3D print these. They're not plastic models. These models are resin. And she even stated that they're resin, but then she goes and she states that they're plastic. Which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And then she claims that she she makes these, but she's not make she doesn't make them. She doesn't have permission to make them. Lost Kingdoms isn't a company that does that like print your own terrain, print your own models type of deal. It's more like a games workshop or a Mantics type of model or you know Pathfinder model or a Dungeons and Dragons model, where a company manufactures his models, and then there might be. You know, a piece or two that you have to glue together, and then you paint them up, or they make them make them pre-painted, and you, you use them on the tabletop. 
so right there there's a lot of red flags and another lot of red flags are her reviews because everybody gives her you know really great reviews but one guy said one of the plastic pieces that he you know one of the pieces he bought didn't was missing a piece and then when he emailed this lady she printed him up the piece that he was missing for no extra charge it's like you can't this isn't something you print this is I don't know, it's just weird. So if you guys are going on SD to find stuff, just beware that there are certain people out there who are going to lie and say, these these are models I specifically made. You can only get them through me. But they're not. They, they don't have the trademark. They just probably bought it off somebody else on SD, or maybe they bought it off eBay, or they, they picked it up at a store for real cheap, and they're just throwing it on their online store to sell it to you. Um, I've had real bad experiences buying with Chaos Super Orc Stores. I don't fucking remember the name of that. But I was under the impression that these guys were... It's two people. Apparently a male in his 30s and then some lady in his, her 40s. Um, they don't own a brick-and-mortar store. That's a lie. Somebody said that they did. They don't. Uh, they do a lot of their stuff, a lot, a, a lot of their product um, is actually bought by people in Canada, and I don't know why the people in Canada buy buy anything from these people. Uh, these people won't even give you a shipping, you know, your shipping information, your, your, your package tracking crap. Uh, if you're missing something, they don't expect you to message them, message, message them back. And put pressure on them to refund you your money. Uh, they expect you. To, they just want to take your shit and then, then give you whatever they have. And if if it's not all there, they don't. They don't care. Um, that's the type of vibe I was getting for this lady. Was she was talking out her ass. And that's been going on for 16 minutes. That's fine. It's the hobby talk. The hobby talk, baby. I don't really want to do competitive play. I really don't want to do mystery heroes either, but I do want some loot boxes. Hopefully, I'm in my own chat, not not in game chat. I should be fine. Uh, but I just thought it was weird, not weird. I just incredibly dishonest. That you would say, oh, th I made these, even though the image you have. Um, <laughs> Toon Lemon. Oh my god, no. Sorry, that you'd just be incredibly dishonest to say that you made this thing, even though it's got a company's trademark logo right behind it. Legally, Goose.
One elimination, all right. Maybe they get too fast in the damn. All right, well, I have fucking tried. Apocalypse. That sucked. <laughs> did it. Good job, team. <laughs> That was a horrible team. <laughs> That's all right. It, it's late at night. I've been up since like super early in the goddamn morning. Um, Beacon in place. Hey. No le saques. It's all about having fun when you're in skirmish mode. It's not about, you know, trying to be a tryhard. Oh god. Speaking about being a tryhard. Uh, not good at it, sir. anyway.
I'm trying. Damn it! No, it's got two torbs. I was doing okay, I guess. Uh, well, she's still alive, all right. I mean, she could have done the other thing that I did, but. Is that what killed me? Who left? Somebody left. Ow! Damn it! 
Oh, shut up. Stop saying yes. Uh oh. Fuck. Damn it. I did what I could. I, I, I wanted to do D.Va, but it didn't work. I don't know what happened. We had that first one. Bastards. That's fine. <laughs> I fell down. The All right, that's pretty good. But I got their their doom fist. Ooh, I'm so good as me too. Mmm, love me some my love being annoying as fuck. I didn't even see that there. I honest to God didn't see that bullshit there. No, Hemtaro. <sighs> Fuck. We are gonna lose.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, they've got fucking too many. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, we're not gonna. Damn, we had a first good round though. I didn't even see who the... There's nobody on our team, so it doesn't matter. Got two kills as Widowmaker. Didn't even have to scope. So good I am. So good I am. I ain't gonna never get no loot box. Ten day in. So tired. Welcome. Dead tired. Sixteen minutes of me. Some of the things Talon wear. Shish. Shish, 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 me friend. Someone who's AFK. Guess they left the game. No, they're still here. Oh, Fucked. I've got no goddamn health. <laughs> oh, no, they... No, they're, they're playing now. Got one kill. All right. Let's go, baby. With every death. Oh, no, no, we still got people over here. AFK and feeding. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, 
Hey, you weren't expecting me to do that now, were you? Got him. Oh, those were people I was playing with last game. Son of a bitch. Alright. After this, I'm definitely gonna have to switch out of this. No! I went into my little ice cube and I didn't even fucking register. Awesome bullshit. Okay, I'm getting killed off real, real fast.
Oh, I don't know her rework all that well. Ah! Fuck off! Oh, Jesus. Twenty player kill strike baby. S Symmetra. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, that was Woo. How do you get play of the game? That's some bullshit, but alright. Fuck you, 25 eliminations. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, 25 fucking eliminations? 5 deaths, 25 eliminations, 14 kills, max damage done. Oh, that is some bull. 21 eliminations with Symmetra. Mmm. What did I lose out to? Because I had that fucking triple kill. That was... That was gold right there. I used to be really, really annoying with Symmetra too. May and Symmetra were... I, I fucking love playing them. Just, just how annoying I used to be with them. Oh. Oh, he's slow. I don't like being slow. Take that. Net, you poop potatoes. Beats, whatever they are. Oh, playing with them again. Yeah, I need to. That was a waste, buddy. I healed, but I died right away, so... Yeah, we're gonna lose this first point pretty quick. Together, we are strong. Together, we are strong. Yeah, dearest Dave, and I keep getting... Keep up with them. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I just went up in the air and died. 
but it's fine. I'm fucked. We're fucked. We're all fucked, Dave. Bye! I didn't even mean to jump down here. No! Resmary! Don't res me? Don't heal me, I guess? Oh, that's not good. I had a triple kill. Why is with people just being fucking AFK today? I'll be watching over you. I don't want to watch over you. I'm gonna kill shit. Here they come. for being AFK. Damn! <laughs> Slimy tomato. Alright, Laura Croft. So close. All right, we're going. We're, no, not Euro Gallery. I want to know what I fucking lost out to from that Torb. Come on, uh, let's see. Let's see what my play of the game was. Let's fucking see. Roman Rider. Dread Red S. Metro. Okay, never mind. It shows that instead of. And then me killing the Mercy. Oh. One more game. One more game. No, I don't want to. Training. No, I won't play. I won't play. Play. One more some Mr. Heroes. I don't really, really care what. I get to play a skirmish anyway, so. Welcome to Momasis. The land of Moes. Mo money. Mo people. Um, everything can be and everything Don't mind me, Angel C. Oh, fucking by myself. 
Lame. Velka Industries. Oh, shit is gonna get wild. What am I? Oh. God. I think it was just with some of these people. You stray ninja. Not him, but dab it, whatever. Where are my people? Huh? Really? So we're just gonna give up the first point. Why not picking up that health? Uh oh. <laughs> Fucking bitch. That was a good one too. She's being annoying what she's supposed to do. Cause I had my ult ready too. showing off. Oh, fuck. I'm 
is not gonna do anything with the McGee. Oh, we got that double kill. Expects a flanking Magoo. the best I've ever fucking done as Mr. Magoo. Fuck that up so bad. I got greedy. I got real greedy with McGew. I got some really nice plays with Magoo. Was not expecting to get that that many that much with Magoo. Nine kills with Magoo. Hmm. I'm going away. I gotta work tomorrow too. Let's see what I got with Magoo. I got too fucking greedy with him, but it worked out for the end. Okay, they killed their Magoo. I think that was a Magoo. Really? It wasn't the, the goodness before that, or at, was it after it? I don't remember. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I've got work tomorrow. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dreadbread. Thank you for stopping on by for watching this on YouTube and you're wondering why I'm called Dreadbread because over on Twitch I am Dreadbread. Over on YouTube I am Ramen Writer SPG. 
And I'll see you all in the next one. If you like what you saw and you're over on Twitch, hit that smash that follow button. If you're over on YouTube, smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.